Good morning. morning, happy, fresh, and clean mood. It's dinner time, and we are not. It's not dinner time. What? Well, because, you know, normally I'm in hat mode all day. Oh, yeah, no, it's... It's, it's morning. morning. It is 8 a.m. We are getting ready to go grab some breakfast in the dining room. It's Father's Day. Yes, it is. Yeah. Just um, FYI. <laughs> that's all I know. So let's roll out, get some food, and do yeah, some stuff. dude. <laughs> Come on. Our table is ready already. It's quiet today. Welcome to Canal Grande. the dining room we gotta get one more peek at this gondola not like we're probably not gonna be in here eating tonight you know but uh, let's lighten it up oh yeah Ooh, they've got limelight closed off for now for art auction preparation let's see if we can peek in there because we have not been inside limelight there it is so we're wandering deck four heading forward eyeing us past heroes tribute Sports! Mermaid D has found a fish game and she is excited! I love it. It's calm too. It's coming up in about 15 minutes. We are going to be having our debarkation presentation. Oh, dang on, fish! 89 bucks! Woohoo! Woohoo! Fish! Well, we had some debarkation information in our mailbox and we are back in the cabin for now. What up, Nilf? It's lunchtime. Whoop, whoop. Deck 10. Hello, Burano Sunshine Deck. Ah, uh, we came back up to the seafood shack to try to verify the existence of the Asian buffet. It does exist. Oh, they got country music jamming out here. But yeah, this is a uh, assisted service buffet line. So there is our official menu. Well, so an okay little selection out there. We got a whole army full of water. I don't know why water comes in an army, but it's a whole bunch of it. It's a nice little included option. And now, down to five. We got tunes at the gondola. Oh, we just passed by Teppanyaki. I forgot they're open for lunch, too. Out to the piazza. <laughs> Welcome back to the piazza. I know they've got some tunes on the schedule, but not for a while still. So we are just chillaxing. Oh, so this looks like the new standard sort of fleet-wide menu that we've seen recently. You know, what are you getting off of here? Oh, they got a chocolatini. I don't know if they do a espresso one out here. There's the wines and the beers. We've got to go back to the cabin and pack. This is such a short cruise. It's over so fast. Oh, no. Come do a little bit of balcony peeking before we get too far into the suitcases. Fairly smooth overall. We haven't really had any bad bumpily bumps for the crossing. Just relax. cabin again. We're not quite heading to dinner, but there's some stuff going on before. This is essentially our welcome to the evening part, but we're kind of running to get somewhere. And we didn't have time to say, what's up? Let's make it up to you by showing sock of the day now, and then we'll catch up to you later. I'm not entirely sure why I'm wearing these pink socks when I brought them for Hawaii. I've only worn them once the whole trip. So here they are again. They don't match or anything. Welcome to Carnival, the bar and lounge. Well, we are in here for some karaoke excitement. This is quite the popular karaoke excitement. Yeah, we're not gonna do too much seeing or hearing from over here, but we'll just enjoy. Oh, somebody stepped on a wire and disconnected the machine. Uh-oh. It's going to be a while to reboot. Anybody would like to sing a song a cappella? Mmm. And we're back. Oh, our 
dinner reservation just popped. We are going to head down to deck four. Took about 25 minutes, I'll say, for check-in. Welcome back to the balcony of Canal Grande. Well, let's have a look at the menu. We do have some Italian flagged items, appetizers. There is mains, your from the grill regulars, upcharges, and desserts. come back to the cabin to find a get off our ship heart oh no in addition to our other friends I believe these are the same two that we had <laughs> the trembling ears <laughs> good night um, night <laughs> y'all we are back in the cabin uh, we came back uh, after dinner mm -hmm. which you know we kind of went to dinner late dinner service it it felt slow but I don't even actually know that it was slow they were super busy. They were so yeah. understaffed. Yeah, we had trouble getting water refills and stuff like that. But, I mean, we could tell they were working hard. They were. Uh, anyway, we had gone to karaoke, a little bit of a late dinner. Thought, oh, we're going to run back to the room. I still needed to pack, which I have done. Mm -hmm. Toss our suitcases out because we're doing a transfer through the ship tomorrow. So, we're throwing those bags outside. Then we're going to go see the late show of Vintage Pop. Y'all, the late show of Vintage Pop is 10-15. I'm tired. <laughs> we don't go out of the cabin after 10. We just melt. We turn into um pumpkins. That's not true. We we do go well, out. It's 9, have, 13, y'all. It's dangerous out there. Well, we have to finish up some stuff, and we have an early day tomorrow, obviously. Yeah, so Yeah, so, y'all, we are actually going home tomorrow. I know. We have reached the end of Around the World in 80-ish days. Today is day 80. Tomorrow yeah. is day 81. Some of you may have no idea what we're talking That's about. That's true. <laughs> we have just completed a circuit of seven cruises spanning from Hawaii, Alaska, the British Isles, Iceland, not in that order, no. back to New York, out to Bermuda. Here we go. Whoa, crazy. Wow. <laughs> Let's get into dinner because I think that's really all we have to talk about. Yeah. So a couple of new menu items mm -hmm. tonight actually. We both had the zucchini something fritters. Yeah, these were delicious. Um, really nice and golden brown. Had a flavor with or without the dipping sauce, yeah. which is super important. The sauce was real garlicky, which yeah. was nice. I liked the vegetables in it because they were still cooked and kind of crispy. So it's nice they weren't mushy or anything. Mm -hmm. Really good. I will definitely get that again. Yeah, a little oily, but it's fried food. And so, you know, what you want? Yeah. It's fried in oil. <laughs> There's a picture <laughs> of mine. You had an interesting salad based on tomatoes and beans. It's like ensalada... I mean, there were Can captions or Cannellini earlier. beans or something like yeah. that. It was good. It was very bland mm. because there was no dressing or anything on it. So I took my garlic sauce yeah. from my previous dish and put it on there. There ain't no dressing on there, is there? Well, no, there's not. So, I mean, it's a good concept, but I think it needs some more flavor. I mean, a dressing would help yeah. most salads, but I mean, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I had the steak, ale, and cheddar soup, which is something I have had many times before. It is delicious. It is thick. It is cheesy. And I approve of this soup. Nice. It was actually good, <laughs> really, really good. You had some shrimp. Something. Penne. Penne shrimp. Um, I think this has already been on the menu. They just renamed it something mm. else. Really good. The pasta was perfectly al dente. The shrimp were cooked well. The cream sauce, not, you know, overly creamy or too much. It's a small portion, but it was really good. Yeah, we've noticed some of the new Italian um, items ha are just items that have been on the menu forever and that they've renamed with their Italian right. name. But, you know, hey. It's cool. Um, I had the short rib, I think it was. It had a fancy Italian name, too. <laughs> it was really good, and there was a lot of it. Unlike yours, I actually donated you a piece you too, of mine. thank you. Uh, it was, I, I mean, everything about it I loved. Now, first off, those things down in the corner, I thought they were potatoes because I don't read menus, and I bit into them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they were beets. But I love beets, but if you didn't, you might be surprised. Uh, the beef was tender, delicious, gravy good. It was polenta, yum yum, green beans. I mean, you tried it. I loved it. It was good, yeah. That's been, oh, y'all. Mm. Here we go. We both got the same dessert, and here is a picture of it. It is basically baked Alaska with the ice cream flavors changed. But Italian They, they called it like spumoni cassata or something fancy. Yeah. Really good. So it's like cherry ice cream, mm -hmm. pistachio ice cream, vanilla, with a chocolate base cake instead of like traditional vanilla. Yeah. And it was 
really good flavors all together. Um, I even didn't mind the meringue with like the sugary topping because it didn't seem to be as much as I'm like a baked Alaska would have. Love it. I yeah. wanted another one, but it, I did not. <laughs> to me, this is vastly superior yeah. to a baked Alaska. And plus, they're going for the colors of the Italian flag, yeah, right? I mean, granted, it's pink, white, and light green, wow. but you know, that's all you can do. Mm, pistachio? You had me a pistachio and chocolate cake. Okay. Probably one of my favorite carnival mm. desserts that is on the current menus. Is that sad because it's really simple? Well... <laughs> I mean, it's simple looking, but it's well executed and yum yum. If you see that, get it, especially if you like pistachio and cherry. But they've taken off like some of my favorites from the past. So we're, we're still mad at you. A new favorite. I know. Please be put, put stuff on there that's good. I yeah. want my cappuccino pie. I need yeah. lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Y'all, we're going to bed. Um, we'll see you tomorrow for a quick wrap up, and then we hop off of here and boom, boom. Crazy. Yep. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> good night. See you in the morning. And now it is time for In the Shower with Jay, Carnival Venezia edition. Watch out. So we have got a nice glass entry unit. This actually is the handle, um, which is interesting because when you're showering, water hits the door. It doesn't really seem to get out though, but you think it would hit the door and I don't know. Anyway, oh, speaking of hitting the door, that was me. So we have kind of a chopped off rectangle. Not bad, we got a grab bar happening over here. Here's our temperature control. We got the on off and the hot cold. Nice little snack shelf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any sort of triangular goodness goes over there. There is the all-in-one shower gel and shampoo, which has been okay. Not my favorite, but it's all right. Nice, tall, adjustable, removable, detachable shower head. I do like those. Clothesline, of course. Signs warning you to be smart in the shower. So pretty simple overall, but nice. Let's jump in. So when we close, oh, the door is kind of hard to close, actually. Mm, let's get a, get a better angle. Mm, yeah, there ain't a better angle on me, but space-wise, not bad. It's not huge. You know, you got to stand sideways. If I try to stand um, narrow ways, I'll be bumping and all sorts of stuff. But there's an okay amount of, you know, dippy doo -dah room and all that stuff that you need. But, okay, let's get out of here. But pretty good overall, I would say, you know, this shape is generally pretty conducive to getting done what you need to get done. So let's rate it. I'm not even on the screen. What in the world? Whew. Got you anyway. Start spreading the news. We're back. Good morning from New York. about 6 30 now we are still peacefully gliding over here to the pier not peaceful except for the balcony door slamming ah. good, good morning. morning we are back in new york city indeed <laughs> I know. our last morning on board carnival venezia we're gonna roll off grab some breakfast um we have do have the transfer book through the ship so our meeting point i think is about 7 15 we'll roll off and do that yeah it was definitely easier to book through the ship mm. because the airports are pretty far away and ubers and lyfts taxis they're really expensive to get back yeah it was cheaper to do the own bus transfer so let's yeah. just let you know this bus worry about getting us back to the airport so i think we're just gonna grab some breakfast mm. roll off we'll compose our final thoughts and maybe add that in later on yeah. we'll record that back at home or something yeah, exactly. or we'll just never do final thoughts no we will <laughs> Yeah, so let's roll off. Mm -hmm. I guess just, let's do the official bye. Oh. And oh, we'll save that for when we do the final thoughts. Oh, yeah. Y'all, breakfast. Let's breakfast. do it. Coffee. That's important. Yes. Come on. Ten. Car and. Hello, Lido. I think we're going to get a burrito. Or some tacos, actually. I guess they might technically not be tacos. They are huevos rancheros, but you know what? I'll call them what I want because they are delicious. Well, Dee has got hers huevos ranchero style. He put both your eggs on one, but you know, you, okay. you can make it share. I kept mine taco style, added some corn black bean salsa, extra cheese, and a couple of arepas on the side. All right, back in we go. 
<laughs> that was overly dramatic. Uh, welcome back to our home port of New York. Okay, so this uh, dining room this morning, it's for Platinums, Diamonds, Suites, uh, Early Flights, and Wheelchair Assistance, okay? Yeah, so they made a big old train out of the luggage and just had everybody go stand by their bags. So, clever. day. <laughs> yeah, we are on location in a random hotel in the world because we need to do our Carnival Venezia wrap-up video and we are on the road. That's right. We're from the future. Yeah. <laughs> so excuse, we have chairs of differing heights. This is the first time I've actually <laughs> Not taller felt than Jay. shorter than you. I'm a lot closer. Yeah. Anyway. Hey y'all, how you been since the Venezia? Um, so we need to do final thoughts mm -hmm. and then we have a little bit of a story time coming up because we actually had a very, very still unresolved bad transfer service experience yeah. that we booked through Carnival and I feel like we just need to get it off of our chest, you know? <laughs> so, Venezia, final thoughts. Let's start with what did we really like about Venezia? The ship is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Love the theming and the decor. They did a really great job with that. I mean, I know that was, you know, Costa before, right. but Carnival embraced it and added, I think they added more to I it, honestly, they and they went with the theming. Um, I really like the, like, the carnival, the fair, whatever they call mm, that. The Festa Italiana. That. Uh, getting the families involved, lots of activities for the kids. Oh, so good for kids. It was really good, but it, it was like ongoing and had different things at different times. There was music and dancing, gelato eating competition, all that mm. good stuff. Um, the Venetian masked gala. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you call these things. There wasn't a whole lot really Venetian <laughs> about the toast itself. Like, I no. thought that could have been a little more Venetian, but everybody got to wear the masks and it was cute. But you don't have to do that, but it's fun. Like, True. And if you don't have one, you can make one like we did. Um, mm -hmm. Not many people attended that. I was surprised. But yeah. maybe now you know because you saw the video that you can do that. True. Um, and ours was just a four-day party cruise yeah. to throw out there. It was a four-day to Bermuda, so that's a whole different vibe than a longer cruise on Venezia. I'm Correct. Sure. Yeah. Um... So yeah, what was that, just venues? I think so, I mean, very pretty. I liked all of the decor, the having a stinking gondola. I'm sure it was, the gondola was there, I'm sure yes. when it was costed oh, yeah, too. But I mean, just embracing all that theming. And even the bold decision, I guess, to leave it in the colors of Costa. You know, they're yeah. embracing the whole blue and yellow and really treating this as a Costa by Carnival experience. Yeah, I liked what was different about it, but still familiar. Yeah. So that was nice. You felt like you were on a Carnival ship because mm -hmm. things were kind of where you thought they'd be. Like there were burgers <laughs> where you wanted them. There were burritos where you wanted them and things like that. But it was different enough. Yeah. Uh, the only real sort of negatives I can think of is a lot of the spacing. The Lido deck kind of bummed me out. Like it's beautiful yeah. and the venues are cool and they feel like they're kind of closed off in their own thing, but it's also a main thoroughfare for all the food, mm -hmm. the coffee shop, any deck parties, things like that. And the pool is, you know, yay big. A little, yeah. Um, so it's very busy. Yeah, I very. guess the, the space taken up by the Rococo structure and the Java Blue structure mm -hmm. took a little bit away. And so they moved the things like deck parties to the mm -hmm. back pool deck. Which is also yeah. tiny. Yeah. Uh, and it was a little weird. Like, I don't know if I would have wanted to be down there in it. Like, I didn't have that Ooh, much of a lot of people. <laughs> courage in my body to be down there wobbling and electric sliding because I would have just got run over. Yeah. You know I me. Mean? I mean, I see why they did it because, like, the views off the back sailing away from New York, yeah, that was beautiful. You wouldn't was. have had that in the middle pool area. Yeah, it was very panoramic mm -hmm. back there, I have to say. So Beautiful. that was. Um, and there's bottlenecky areas, mostly yeah. on the Lido deck around the food. You get that on a lot of ships. I yeah. think Sunrise Radiant, Sunshine, they kind of suffer from that a little bit. So that, you know, it's traffic flow can't be helped, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they did a really good job overall. Some of the theming, you know, I question, like making Tomodoro basically blue iguana with a different name because I did not taste any, unless my taste buds are just oof, I didn't taste any different flavors at Tomodoro than I would at blue iguana. I don't know how you make like Italian, Mexican I don't either. burritos. But they anyway. were like really touting it up, or is that even the word, as a fusion. Mm -hmm. It was blue iguana. I pretty mean, sure, yeah, pretty unless sure. they change it later on, but for our sailing, there was nothing different. Yeah, and the MDR menus where they're like, look at all of our Italian <laughs> things with the flags next to them, and it's basically just reworked menu items that they already had on the menu, but there were a couple of nice winners that they added. 
My favorite was, mm -hmm. it was like a take on baked Alaska, yeah, that, but it was with, um... Casasta something. Was it gelato? Oh, it was good. I don't know what it was, I don't but know. it was delicious. It was pistachio and like a cherry yeah. vanilla and another flavor. And oh, I don't yeah. like baked Alaska, but this was amazing. I would eat that over baked Alaska but, any day. <laughs> it was that, so good. Where they were, had the colors of the Italian flag, kind of. And I think it was chocolate cake, too. Mm. I don't remember. It was so good. Give me more of that. That was fantastic. <laughs> And they had a sugar-free option too, which True. was nice. Um, but yeah, overall, beautiful ship. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it would be one that I would just be like, oh, I've got to get on that Venezia again. I'm glad we did it. I'm curious to see it on a longer sailing, actually. So yeah. I don't know if I'd book a party cruise on it, but I would go give would another go for a longer cruise just to see what was up. Get more of an idea. They had, um, yeah. the venues had lots of live music, mm -hmm. which is always good. Carnival is really good at that. The Serenity deck is beautiful. We didn't get to spend like any time no, out there because it was a short sailing, but that would be a cool area to yeah. hang out. I guess for now I would give it a wood sail again. Yeah. Asterisk. Asterisk. <laughs> That's how you say that word. On a longer sailing. Parentheses. Yeah. Semicolon. And it is going to Florida in uh, 2024 for like the snowbird season, nice. as they call it. Port so, Canaveral? Port Canaveral. Did I get yeah, that right? So. Okay. So they'll have, you know, more options to sail it from a different area other nice. than New York. Okay. And here's why maybe you don't want to sail from New York. No. <laughs> Our story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. Because that's really all my final thoughts on Venezia uh, that I can think of. Yeah. Okay, so we booked a cruise transfer through Carnival mm -hmm. to get ourselves from the ship to JFK Airport. We're like, okay, the pricing is all right. Yeah. We don't really want to deal with the logistics. We need the time frame because I think it said it was suitable for flights up until a certain time. I forget what that was, if it was noon or one. 1 a.m. 1, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. 1 and our flight was right then. So we're like, okay. So we booked it. Um, I think we learned that there was an eight o'clock option or a nine o'clock option. Mm -hmm. And we chose the eight o'clock option because we wanted to be as early as we could. They, we had the choice to either take our own bags off or have them delivered and put out in luggage zone one, which was the absolute earliest luggage zone. And so we're like, okay. Yeah. This time, since they gave us these tags um, to be used with the excursion, we'll throw our bags out there and we'll literally, literally be the first zone to get our bags. Mm -hmm. So we did, threw our bags out. Um, I don't know if I'm missing any part of the on-ship story, but off we go down the thing and to grab our bags and we get down there, the bags aren't ready yet. Because yeah. we did go off with the walk-off group. Uh, and so we stood to the side till the absolute very first second that the bags were allowed to be grabbed. We grabbed those bags and we headed out to the buses. Yep. Do you remember what time that was? I want to say we were it walking. Was right eight, like right before yeah. 8 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, but we were walking out to the bus, I think just... After eight o'clock, I want to say it was about eight ten when we got to the bus or something like that. I'd have to go back and check the time, yeah, uh, the times. But it was the uh, the fastest that we could get there. So we go and we get on the bus, and we wait. Yeah, we wait, uh, and we're just trying to figure out because we're sitting on the bus. The bus is not moving, and so we eventually found out that apparently we were not on the eight o'clock bus. No. Even though we got there, I mean, we, you know, we got there a little bit after eight, to be fair, but they dismissed that eight o'clock bus. That was not full. That was not full. At all. Um, at about <laughs> eight ten, and brought in the other bus, which was the nine o'clock bus. So they were loading everybody up on that nine o'clock bus. And that was the only other bus of the day we learned. So that was, you know, after that bus, there were no more buses. So yeah. it was that bus or nothing. So we got on, you know, eight ten, eight fifteen, something like that. And we sat on that bus. 9.15, that bus didn't move. 10.15, mm -hmm. that bus didn't move. And so we're like, this is the this is the nine o'clock bus, right? Because we were okay with the nine o'clock bus too. Yeah. Um, didn't move. Uh, natives are getting restless, you know. The, yeah, people there's have, only like 15 people on the bus, yeah. basically. People, people have flights, you know, that they gotta catch. Yeah. So uh, people were getting off, talking to the folks. I decided to get off, talk to the folks. And you know, I'm like, okay, this this is, we are actually on the nine o'clock bus, yeah. So then the bus didn't move, here it is 10, 15. We're starting to get itchy feet because I'm checking Google traffic. Mm. And it's like a solid hour, I think, to get up to JFK with traffic. It so was, yeah. we're, we're, you know, wanting to be at the airport two hours ahead of our flight, which we should be at the airport at 11. So 10.15, we're sitting there, and we know if that bus started moving. We're not going to get to the airport till 11.15 yeah. for a 1 o'clock flight. You know, I'm starting to tingle. My <laughs> spidey senses are going nuts. Uh, and the, the answer I basically got was that the debarkation had been delayed. Mm -hmm. You know, they dismissed the first bus, because that first bus, I think, was supposed to sit there a little bit longer and collect people. Well, yeah, they left, like, with... I, I looked. I saw them leave, and there was, yeah. like, maybe 20 people on the entire bus. So okay. it was weird. 
Uh, but debarkation was delayed and they weren't going to move that nine o'clock bus until <laughs> everyone who had bought a ticket was on it. We were expecting 30 some 35 people. more people. And we had maybe 12 or 15 <laughs> that had sat there for up to two hours. You know, people have been on there a while just waiting for the uh, bus to come, or, you know, the bus to move really. So we had a tough decision to make at that point. We're yeah. like, you know, I asked, the, I asked the lady, is there any, you know, we've already the excursion has gone off the rails. The timing is not what was promised because there was a very clear timeline as to what was supposed to have happened. Is, can you tell me, is this bus going to move? Like, I think my, my drop point was, will this bus move by 1030? Because if it moves by 1030, I'm comfortable getting to the airport at 1130. And she said, no, there's no promise, no guarantee that this bus is going to move at any particular time. So we pulled our bags off the bus. We got a taxi and we vroom vroomed to the airport. And, and we, we just, made our flight. And we made our <laughs> flight. So we just we, we just had to pull the plug on that excursion. Uh, other people did too. A lot of people yeah. were mad and uh, and all. So it just really went off the rails. Um, I reached out to Carnival, the guest care team, on I think it was June twentieth. Yeah, because we got off on the nineteenth. Uh, just to say, hey, this happened. Is there any way that we can get reimbursed just for that excursion because we were not able to use it? And so I got an automatic reply. It could take up to 45 days to you know, get your message. Uh, I got an email back on July 20th, so 30 days later, that basically said if we could provide the unused excursion tickets, which those were given to the people at the pier so that we could get on the bus. They took them. <laughs> and if, they would, if we could give them a copy of the receipt from the taxi ride on letterhead showing paid in full, they would consider reimbursing us for the transfer and the taxi ride. So I, we paid this taxi in cash, you know, we were just jamming. It so I, I wrote them back <laughs> and I said, the excursion tickets, we don't have them. You know, the pier folks have them and don't worry about the taxi because we made that decision to hire a taxi for X number of dollars, forget that. So no resolution as of yet, that was five days ago. It said it could be up to 45 days again before I receive a response. So sadly, this story doesn't have an ending yet. <laughs> not yet, we're waiting on at least a refund for the excursion, the which excursion. did not happen. And I'm sure they heard a lot about that. Yeah. Um, from what we understand, people were still on board like at 1 p.m. trying mm -hmm. to get off the ship for whatever reason happened on that first sailing out of New yeah. York. So the logistics there are not good. And um, they hopefully they'll work them out. I don't know. I don't know if that bus ever moved. <laughs> we don't really have proof <laughs> that it went anywhere. I hope for the people that were on it's sake that it did. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a comment under this video that I will pin with updates as to when the story finally gets resolved. So check the comment section and see if a resolution has, has come out because they still have like 40 more days after the recording of this video yeah. to reply. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll do the right thing because that excursion just didn't go as promised because it's, it specifically said it's good for flights up to one o'clock. The... TSA regulations or, or you know guidelines are that you need to be at the airport two hours prior for domestic flights, which means that bus needed to have me at JFK at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. comfortably. Am I overthinking it? I mean, that's how it works in my brain, yeah? Yeah, that's good. All right. Okay. We've talked <laughs> long enough, yeah. Is that it? That's all we have to that's talk it? about for Venezia, yeah? Yeah, you guys saw... Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. It's a beautiful ship and, you know, go Do on. it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out for story time, yeah. all this rambling. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep, and until next time. Rock, rock on. on.